to my tailored video for puzzles and conquests. This is a game I've always liked, I've always enjoyed, I've always wanted to make a video on it, so this will be my tier list on it. But first, statistically 95.5% of you are not subscribed. Guys, please subscribe, I've been working very hard on this channel, and I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this month. So we have about yeah, two, two weeks left, two to three weeks left. So yeah, I'll give you five seconds to subscribe. Five, four, three, two, and one. And thanks for subscribing. Now let's get into the video. This is going to be my tier list video for puzzles and conquests and all of the top heroes in the game. So first, let me quickly explain what I'm going to be using to rank all of these heroes. I'm going to be looking at how useful they are in the campaign, how useful they are in the arena in both terms of both attack and defense, how useful they are for trials and in the battles with the boss, and how much the hero influences the troops in the castle, and maybe a bit about the economy of the game as well, so construction, research, legion size, etc. So yeah, let's start off with Animus. This guy is... he's quite bad in the campaign, he's quite bad in the arena, he's quite bad in trials, his troops are pretty trash, he's good economically but overall I'm gonna put him in stinky. He's he's not a very good hero and I wouldn't waste any time investing resources into him. And let's move on to Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of death himself. He's pretty horrible in the campaign, horrible in the arena, horrible in trials, his troops, his troops are decent. And I'm gonna put him in stinky as well. I think he's just quite he's just a worse version of Animus in my opinion. Now moving on to Chai Chai Shen. I'm I'm gonna try and pronounce these names correctly, but I'm probably gonna butcher most of them, so sorry in advance. So Chai 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 Shen. He's not, Average in the campaign, he's quite good in the. He's um, he's not horrible. He's decent in the arena. He's fine in trials. His troops are decent. Overall, I'm gonna put him in average. Not horrible, not good. Just just in the middle. Now Cleopatra. He's quite good in the campaign. Very good in the arena. Not bad in trials. The troops are very good. So I'm gonna put her in elite. She's a very good hero, and she's also the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, which is very cool. Now moving on to Ebony, she looks a lot like Hera from Thor, Thor Ragnarok if you watch that movie. And she's average in the campaign, she's very good in the arena though. She's average in trials and her troops are actually quite bad. So I'm gonna have to put her on average just because her only plus is the arena and she's quite bad at everything else so I can't merit putting her up in elites. Now let's look at Garlib. He's average in the campaign, he's average in the arena, he's average in trials, he's just an all round average hero so I'm gonna have to dump him in average. Now Nefertiti. Okay, another famous female pharaoh from ancient Egypt. She's quite bad in the campaign, just average in the arena, she's horrible in the trials, the troops are quite bad. Yeah, she's a stinky hero, it's, it's a shame because Nefertiti looks so cool, so I'm gonna have to put her in stinky, it's a shame really. Now moving on to Orochi, this guy looks like Orochi Mario from Naruto if you've seen that anime. He's very good in the campaign, he's very good in the arena, he's average in the trials, his troops are quite good, so I'm gonna go and put him in Elise. He's a very good hero. Now moving on to Guan Yu. Guan Yu, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's good in the campaign. He's good in the arena. He's good in the trials. He's very good. He's got good troops, so I'm gonna put him in Elise. We haven't reached God tier yet, but he's a very good hero. Now moving on to the Harvest God. This guy is very good in the campaign. He's incredible in the arena. He's very good with trials and he's got incredible troops. Overall, I'm putting the Harvest God into God tier. This guy is incredible. 
and I would recommend leveling him up. He's very good. Now let's look at Jumong. Okay. He's average for the campaign. He's actually half decent for the arena. But where he shines is the trials. He's incredible for trials. His troops are average, so I'm gonna have to put him in Elise. Because he's he's incredible in trials, but his other stats push him down, so he's gonna have to go in Elite. He's not quite god tier, but he is very good. Now let's look at Lyra. She's quite bad in the campaign. She's quite bad in the arena. She's quite bad in bad in trials, so I'm just gonna have to put her in stinky. She's just she's bad. She's very bad. I mean, you can even go for an absolute trash here. Yeah, I might just put her in absolute trash. Yep, she's just horrible. Don't waste your time with her. Now, Lucifer, the devil himself. He's good and he's very good in the campaign. He's incredible in the arena. Very good in trials. His troops are quite bad, but everything makes up for it. So I'm gonna put her in God. Put sorry, put him in God tier. This guy's incredible, one of my favorite fire heroes in the game, and he looks so cool. He's just overall incredible. Now let's look at Lux. She's good in the campaign, she's very good in the arena. This is where she, sh where she shines. The arena's incredible for her. She's average in trials, her troops are actually also quite good, so overall I'm gonna have to put her in elite, so top of elite. Maybe you could argue God tier, but I'm gonna put her in Elite for now. Now Medusa. She's pretty good in the campaign, but she's again where she shines is the arena. She's very good in the arena. Not bad for trials. Troops are half decent, so I'm gonna have to put her in Elite again. She's not average, she's Elite. The Gorgon Medusa Medusa goes in Elite. Now the Archangel Michael. This guy looks so cool. Like the dark equivalent of Lucifer in some cases. So yeah, he's very good in the campaign. He's incredible in the arena. Very good in the trials. His troops aren't that great, but everything like Lucifer, it all everything balances out. And I'm gonna put him in God tier. This guy is incredible. And he also looks so good. So yeah, that also helps. Now let's look at Niza, I think I've said that correctly. I'm really not sure, so oh, sorry, I guess. This guy is he's average in the campaign, he's average in the arena, he's average in trials, he's just an all around average guy. His troops are quite good though, but overall, I'm gonna have to put him in average just because I mean, good troops, but everything else is being average, just, he can't merit being a leader god too. And he's certainly not stinky, so I'm gonna have to put him in average. And he also looks incredibly cool, so yeah. Now the Pioneer Crusader. He's very good in the campaign. He's very good in the arena. He's very good in trials and his troops are incredible. So I, I can't argue with putting... So you could put him in top of elite, but I'm going to put him in god tier because incredible campaign, incredible arena, incredible in trials. Out, outrageously good troops. You can't really ask for anything else, so yeah. This guy is going to have to go in god tier. Now let's look at Riska. I was quite disappointed when I looked at this guy. He's quite bad in the campaign, bad in the arena, trials are bad, troops are horrible. He's just absolutely trash. I mean, it's, it's sad because he looks incredible. He, he looks like a mini Lucifer. He just looks incredible, but his, his stats are just not good enough. It was really quite saddening for me. Now let's look at Sarbo. Sar Sarbo? I think I've said that correctly. He's very good in the campaign. Very good in the arena. Incredible in trials. Very good troops. So this guy is going to go straight into god tier. This guy is incredible. He looks incredible and his stats, stats are just outrageous. So I can't merit putting him anywhere else. Now the Shadow King. This guy is incredible in the campaign. Incredible in the arena. Incredible in trials, incredible troops. So he has to go in over just in god tier. His stats are outrageous. These guys are easily a god tier hero, one of the best in the game. And now let's quickly look at Skender. 
This guy looks like a Grim Reaper, very cool, but he's just not that good. He's bad in the campaign, bad in trials, average in arena, average troops. Yeah, he's just stinky, really. Or you could even argue putting him in absolute trash. I'm going to put him in absolute trash. He's just not good. It's just such a disappointment when seeing such a cool hero just being a flop. It's really quite just disappointing. Now let's go for Sun Wukong. He's average in the campaign, he's good in the arena, and very good in trials. Troops are average, so overall I'm going to put him in elite just because of how he's incredible in the arena and trials. So I think that merits him being in elite auto. You could argue, argue for putting him in the top of average, but I'm going to put him in elite for now because he is a good hero. Now let's look at Verdus. He's very good in the campaign, he's incredible in the arena. He's very good in trials. His troops are actually quite bad, surprisingly. But overall I'm gonna put him in elite, so near top of elite. This guy's very good. His troops are just his troops just push him down a bit. But other than that, he's very good. Now let's look at Yang. He's average in the campaign. Very good in the arena though. His trials are decent, his troops are average. Overall, I'm going to put him in average. Yeah, he's just an all-around average average character. Good in the arena, but everything else is just really average. So I'm going to have to put him in average. Yeah. A shame, really. Very cool-looking panda guy. I have to go in average. Now let's look at Zeus. Good in the campaign. Very good in the arena, though. Average in trials. Not good. Not bad. He's got good troops, though. So I'm going to put him in. Elite. It's because good troops are quite hard to come by, as I'm sure you've seen. Now let's look at this guy at the front. I've forgotten his name. Oh well. But um, yeah, he's not that good, so it doesn't matter. Overall, I'd put him in absolutely trash. He's bad in the campaign, bad in the arena, bad in trials. Troops are half decent. But overall, he's just a bad guy, so he's gonna go in absolutely trash for now. Okay, let's move on to the final two. Let's move on to Poseidon. Poseidon is honestly just a disappointment. He looks so cool, he's the Greek god of the sea. He should be incredibly powerful, that's what I thought anyways. But he's very bad in the campaign, very bad in the arena, very bad in trials. He's got good troops. But overall, he's just a stinky character. You could even argue absolutely stinky. I'm gonna put him in absolutely stinky. It's just so disappointing because Poseidon is so cool. They just, I don't know why they made him such a bad character. Now let's move on to Horus. This guy's very cool. An ancient Greek god. Incredible. He's very good in the campaign, very good in the arena, very good in trials. His troops are actually quite bad, but. Everything else makes up for us, so I'm gonna have to put him in Elise. Top of Elite or God tier, but I'm gonna go Elite for now. So yeah, guys, this is my tier list. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone else. If so, I'm sorry, just let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you would rate them. Yeah, so let me know what you think. Would you swap some of these guys around? Would you maybe move Horus up, or up a bit, move Lux up, move Cleopatra down maybe? So yeah, let me know what you think. Please like and subscribe and thank you. Have a nice day.